Hello, welcome back to Fundamental STEM. And if you've been following this series of how to draw shapes with scratch for the last seven videos, you'll have learned how to do circles, different types of triangles, squares, rectangles, and today's video is how we're gonna gather all that knowledge that you've gathered up over the last few days, working on all those projects, and we're gonna turn them into something a bit fun. We're gonna make a spirograph project where we make a square, draw on the screen and then it zooms around and prints the same square around you, you'll see the basic effect once we get it done but before we get into that I just want to quickly draw your attention to something here I need some subscribers guys so please 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 click subscribe like that and then click on that little bell like that and you'll get notified whenever a new fundamental stem video goes up right let's get coding same one as this series as we've done in the previous ones we want to grab our pen our pencil so head into the library find the pencil there we are there get into the costume delete the second costume and make sure that we put the tip of the pencil onto the crosshairs like this okay let's grab our backdrop and the backdrop that we've been using is the wall so let's scroll down here there's our wall now we're on backdrop, make sure we click onto pencil and click into code. Right, so the first part of this is much the same as we've done in previous videos. So we start off with a when the green flag clicked at the very beginning. Let me just zoom in there, make that a bit bigger for you guys. When the green flag clicked, and I want this to go to zero zero. Okay, go to zero zero. So we stick a zero in there into the X and a zero into the Y. And then this one, I want it to point zero degrees. I want it to start off pointing up. So we can drag that wheel or you can type in zero. So then we need some pen blocks. And so that means we have to click into our extensions. Here's our pen functions here and the pen blocks. Let's start by lifting up the pen and erasing any previous work we've done. So let's erase all. Then we need to set the size of the pen, set the pen size. I'm not going to have the pen too thick this time around, so two will be more than enough. And we're going to set the pen color to 100. So let's set the pen color to 100. Let's pull that over a little bit. 100, 0, 0, 100. Now we're ready to start drawing. So we want to put the pen down. Okay, put the pen down. Right. So. The first repeat block, I'm not going to put a number into it just yet. So we're going to put a repeat block out and I'll explain what this repeat block is in a moment. I'm just going to fill in that repeat block. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this code off to one side here and I'm going to build a little bit of stuff over here. So part of the drawing uh, effect, as you've seen in all the previous ones, you can make it, you can tell it to move 100 steps move and turn and move 100 steps and turn and so on like that. And the pen will move really, really quickly. And so you've probably noticed that in order to move 100 steps, what I've been doing is I would start with a repeat 10 and I would pull out a move 10. And that slows down the process because it's still moving 100 steps, but it's 10 times 10. Okay, it's 10 times 10. But, um, this is going to have an awful lot of uh, extra features in it. So I will I will use that on this one uh, and I'll put this repeat block into yet another repeat block because it's a square we're drawing. So this is going to be our square. So this one's going to say four. So repeat four times, move 10 steps and do we know what it is? Yeah, turn 90 degrees, turn 90 degrees. So this is our this is our square, okay? So this is drawing one square. It's going to four times, move 100 steps, turn 90 degrees, okay? So that drawing in the square can go inside of this other block here, okay? So we can put this into this other block. And this is where the actual effect that we're gonna try and make comes from. So it's going to draw, at the moment it's saying it's gonna draw 10 squares. So if we left it as it was, it would draw 10 squares directly on top of each other. This is where the effect comes in. So what we need to do next is go into our pens and we need to change the pen by 10. Okay, change the pen by 10. Okay, change the pen by 10. And then I'm gonna start off with a, a slightly smaller effect. So I'm gonna uh, turn 12 degrees. 
So I'm going to turn 12 degrees in there. Okay, turn 12 degrees. And this is related to what should be written at the top here, the 10. Okay, so if I left this as it was, it would be 10 times 12, which would be 120. But what, we, what the relationship between this repeating 10 and this turning has to amount to 360. So that means that the top one, now I know you guys probably can't calculate this straight out here, but I've done some of these here. So 30 multiplied by 12 is 360. Okay, so this is how we can you can change this. I want you guys when you build this I want you to mess around with these numbers. Okay, so this 12 Here 12 degrees repeated 30 times will come to 360 So let's have a look on the big screen at how this actually hang on a second I'm gonna just um, add in another little feature at the bottom because the pen is gonna finish off still on top of our diagram here So I'm gonna add in another little bit. I'm um, after it draws the blocks and the, the whole diagram, I want to lift up the pen. Yeah, I'm gonna lift up the pen and I'm gonna send it off into the far corner there as well. So uh, let's click on the motions. Let's pull the pen way off over here somewhere. That'll do, I'm gonna stick that on there. Okay, so now we're ready. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so if we click on the green flag, this is what we get, we get our pen and then it's so from the red one to the orange one here that's a change of 12 degrees and then from the orange one to the yellow one that's another 12 degrees and it's doing this 30 times and in total as it draws square after square after square so it draws a square and then it turns itself 12 degrees it draws another square it'll keep doing this until it gets all the way around and this effect can be changed by the numbers that we add in there. So I'll just let this finish off. You can see what's going on here. So you can mess around with the numbers on this one and make that even more or less dense. So let's have a look. If we put in, let's put in less numbers and see what we end up with that. Okay, so let's try, um, turning 60 degrees turning 60 degrees and we'll do that and um, how many times do we need to do that we need to do that six times okay six times so let's run that one okay so you can see that's much more space though and if we had uh, if we were doing that one it's much more space though and we could actually end up doing uh, you know and an, a much thicker pen we could use a much thicker pen for this one um, likewise, we could go a, a really, really, really thick one so that they're really close together. And uh, this one is, so you put in here 72 and, and 72 multiplied by 5 equals 360. Okay, so let's watch this one. Uh, this one is going to be very detailed. See, that's a very small gap there. So between the red and the orange is only a five five degree gap. Okay, and another five degree gap, another five degree gap. So you can see the kind of effect you're getting here with this one as it layers one on top of the other. Okay, so guys, I'm not gonna let you see the rest of this one. Okay, there'll be a big spoil sport. You have to go and make it. Okay, guys, so I hope you like that one. The next one we're gonna do is also another bit of fun. We're gonna use, again, all the other shapes that we made. We're gonna draw a house using our shapes, the knowledge we have of our shapes and our angles. And we're going to add in some broadcasts. So remember to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.